Hey guys, welcome back. My name's Stu and this is White Water Park for Roller Coaster Tycoon Classic, one of the original scenarios from Roller Coaster Tycoon 1. A park with some excellent water-based rides requires expansion. Your objective to have at least 900 guests in your park at the end of October, you're through with a park rating of at least 600. So not a huge goal then, so we can focus on scenery and things like that. And wow, look at this one. This one does not look safe at all. Um, but you know, maybe we should just give it a go. Oh, bumper boats down there. Yeah, we're going to be getting rid of those. I can guarantee that. Um, okay, so we're making our way around the park this way. Um, let's check that slide first. What have we got? Decent stats. What are we charging? Oh, 250. We need to put the prices up on that. And we've got okay, is it one or is it two? It's two. I originally named White Water Flumes 1 and White Water Flumes 2. Decent stats, though. That's pretty cool. Um, we can increase the boats on that and increase the price. Um, let's turn off scenery a second. Um, yeah, I'm probably going to rejig this a little to split the station so we can imp improve the throughput. And rather than having it going up over the hill, I'll probably have it going up a certain amount and then through the hill and back down that way we've got a space on top in case we want to use it for anything um and then we've got the river rapids just over here again decent enough stats on that yeah that's pretty cool and then the path stops so we are going to want to build a path all the way around at some point um let's check out what we've got to begin with let's check out the gate Okay, so we've got free admittance, so we're charging for rides. We've got a couple of transport rides. We have got tons of water rides in the gentle section. We've got a decent amount of coasters to begin with. Um, only a twist. All the water rides by the looks of it. And not a great selection of shops. So, okay. Research into shops. For most of you, one, I would think. At some point, we're going to switch to thrill rides, get a few more out. But to begin with, just as with Diamond Heights, we have had protesters. As soon as I took over the park, literally the protesters. So rather than it being the Federation Against Ride Treachery, it's a subgroup of the Federation Against Ride Treachery called the Water Enthusiasts Team. From of the Federation Against Ride Treachery. I mean, guys, guys, seriously, seriously, you need to check your acronyms because that shortens to wet fart, you know, so you just need to check them. So anyway, I'm going to rejig the existing rides. So I'm going to keep them as much as possible. This one really doesn't look safe. I mean, look at that bend there. Um, Yeah, so... I haven't done enough research into these rides to know the speed at which they crash, if they do crash. I suspect they do. I know they come off it, but we'll just keep it going. I mean, and if it crashes, we'll just blame the wet farters. And if it doesn't crash, then I was a genius all along. So, yeah, I'm going to rejig these, rejig the paths, and, um, and see how we get off. June year one and our rating has tanked so I've had a look round, and there's a lot of guests here getting stuck so they want to go if you click on them they want to oh, they want to go to the burger bar that one does let's have a look at the thoughts there they want to go home um, some of them are hungry the food stalls have got over the other side the exit is over the other side so they've come here and they haven't got the smarts to be able to go back around to get to here so Rather than building a path, I will, I will build a path all, all the way around the outside neatly. But just for nowsies, let's build a temporary path, a bridge. There you go. So I've got a no entry sign just up there. So guests can't come this way. And we'll just build it and we'll just connect it up here somewhere. There you go. We'll connect it there. I'll do another no entry sign facing that way they shouldn't change their mind and change direction on the bridge if there's nothing else on there no shops or anything um but just in case so now they can all come this way 
eventually what will happen, there you go, what I'll do is I'll run it on fast forward so you can see, so a lot of them are going to head straight to the exit and as they leave they take their negative rating with them and the rating for the park will will rock it back up once enough of them leave. There you go, it's starting to come back up now. October year one, 560 guests in the park. So we're doing all right. So we come in then and we've rejigged this slide just here. Maybe rename them or something in the future. Got some shops down there, altered the path in so the queue comes up this way, exit comes out that way there. Cool. And then moving along then. So we've got some nice little bridges over the water. It's moving along. And I've rejigged this path just round by here. Um, turn off scenery. There you go. So I've got it going through the hill and then down that way. As I said, we've got some space on top if we want to use it. Don't know if we will yet because we don't need that many more guests. So I've split the stations. Just there, so that should help with throughput as well, and it'll just mean that we've got more space in the queue. Because as the park gets busier, we are going to want more guests in the queues off the main paths to prevent overcrowding. Coming back round, then we've connected up to this the water rides, the the water rapids. We've got the path connecting up on the other side. Got rid of that temporary path. Tires and kiosks on major corners. Another bridge coming round. And then back to the start. So we've made ourselves loads of space. Um, we've also, I know we got rid of that bumper boats, but we've got the slide, we've got two river rapids, and we've, no, we've got two log flumes and one river rapid. So that's four water rides in total. To be eligible for the award for the best, for the park with the best water rides, you need to have at least six water rides. So if we just put down a bumper boat somewhere and a rowboat or whatever, We'll have six and that'll make us eligible. If we win that, we get a boost in our guest sporting rate of 25%. So that'll be cool. So that'll be an easy award to shoot for at some point. Um, we are now researching thrill rides. So we're going to see what comes out. No, nope, wrong section. So we can put down a twist maybe. Um, we've got a carousel and a haunted house. We can put that down as well. So where we've got gaps, we can just add an, a ride in. Nice and easily. We've got some space up here, for example. I've got a massive space on the back here. I was thinking we could do like a really cool wooden coaster or something. Um, when we research coasters, if anything interesting comes out, maybe I'll, I'll show you a, a nice design, but we'll have to wait and see. Um, looping course. Okay, so that's because we finished researching shops and I didn't realize we'd finished researching shops. So by the time I then put it on the thrill rides, it had already started researching that. So, um, yeah, Ooh, that's broken down. That could be dangerous. Luckily, no one's crashed. So, yeah, so we know what we're doing for, for year two then. It's mainly just thrill rides and stuff, but uh, we'll, uh, we'll see what happens. If anything interesting crops up, I'll let you know. October year two, 919 guests in the park. So we have got more than what we need for the goal. So let's have a look then. Um, start at the start. We've got a pirate ship just down there. Charging three pound a go for that. And we've got the haunted house just over there. Making our way along. We've got the carousel. We've got the twist. And we've got drop tower so we've got it into downward launch mode so this one's called down dog um and then we've got we've seen these just coming back round nothing of interest really over here we've got a bumper boats just there um i've done like a little little shack on the island in the middle oh and there you go i knew there was another one the pedalo boats just over here trikes water trikes Excite Trikes. There's a reference there to an old Nintendo game. Um, yeah, do you know what? Do you know these pedlo things? I would like to see those in the Olympics because it's kind of like 
a cross between um, cycling and rowing. And I think it would be really cool. Um, yeah, so all in all, we're doing all right. We've got the Green Arrow. Best Park Toilets Award. So that's always an easy one. I am planning on doing um, doing one of these. I think I'll probably do it again when we go to, uh, when we play the Factory Capers, is it? We'll do like a proper industrial um, build and we'll shoot for all the awards on that. Um, yeah, so we've got 120 guests. I think for year three, we'll probably take it easy. I'll do that wooden coaster up here. Um, maybe put down another thrill ride. And again, if anything interesting comes out of the roller coasters, so we are researching those at the moment. If anything interesting comes out, we'll um, we'll do a build on them. But we aren't. We haven't got a huge amount of space and I don't want to cram too much in because I think the park looks really good as is. Oh, I haven't shown you the, the junior coaster. So it's called Water the Boatman after those like little little bug things that go on the water. So it just comes out, drops all the way down here, interactions with the river rapids up and around and back around and then to the station just there. Decent stats on that. We've been charging £10 a go. Guests have been more than happy to pay for it. This would be a good chance to check out the profits. Make sure everything. £3. <laughs> £3 per hour for Excite Tricks. Never mind. Um, yeah, so it's doing well. We've renamed some of the water rides. Yellow flumes, red flumes, white water rapids and the water slide. Um, I'm sure you can guess which one's which. So, yeah, I think for year three, then I'm just going to crack on with that wooden coaster. Um, if we can end up with about a thousand guests, I'll be happy with that. October year three, we've got over a thousand guests. We've got tons of cash in the bank and we've got this cool wooden coaster just down by here. It's called Gusher. So it drops down, up, around, a nice little diagonal just down here. There's the turnaround, back down, little trick track, up and around, and then a water splash just down there for the section, and it goes into the ground and back around. So in there, there's like a little block break, which it works as a block break, but it doesn't really act as a break. It's still going pretty fast, but then there's another one right at the back as well. It's only running two trains. So it's fine. Um, and there's the, the entrance for it just there. So the entrance goes down and around and then the other side just there. That's pretty cool. Um, and then where is it? I just put down a sim ride. I think we were about, let's have a look at the guest graph. Yeah, just to make sure that it didn't dip below that. So I just put a little sim ride just down by there. This slide. Oh, look at that. It's broken down again. At least we know they aren't crashing because they must have bumped into each other at that spot. Um, you know, we've only got a week or so to go. I think. If we... If we hire a mechanic and just have it just for this ride by here. Mechanic 3 is already fixing it, but we've got one zone, so it shouldn't break down again now. Um, one thing I did forget to show you is right at the start, we had one handyman, and he was off mowing grass in the middle of nowhere. So um, remember to check that out. Um, yeah, so all in all, it's been an all right scenario. Keeping the pre-builds, Definitely made it easier. Um, I mean, 900 guests is pretty easy anyway, but keeping those meant we were pretty much halfway there to begin with. We just needed to complete the path then, add some more rides, and um, job done. Got some nice shops, got fences and things around the place. I reckon the park looks really cool. I like the way it's turned out. I think it looks, it's not too busy, but there's something everywhere, if that makes sense. Um, like we've got one or two spaces that we could utilize, but anything too much, it would just be a, 
I think it would just look weird. It would just look, be look. It would be too busy. I, I think guests are fed up with paying ten pound a go for this ride. We'll drop that down. Guests will go on it again. Um, yeah, and I, I quite like. I was I'm in an aryan with this with this ride, but here it's Halloween. We're going to pass the scenario. I was I'm in an aryan over having some supports. Show you now. And we've done it. Stu. Stupendous. Yeah, I don't like that. Someone suggested I say stupendous. Don't like it. So we'll keep those suggestions. Come on. Let's find something else. So I was thinking of having like a support. We we're going to go one there. These are always fiddly to place. One there. one there and then maybe have like fences but there like that that's something that they they do you do see kind of like that in real life i don't know though i don't know how i feel about it so in the end i just got rid of it it's weird i like it with that and I like it without that. So I don't know. Anyway, yes. Yeah, so this was uh, Whitewater Park. I can never remember the name of it. I can, <laughs> Whitewater Park. Um, and yeah, it was fun. Like I said, you know, I think keeping all the pre-belts made it easier. That's something I probably didn't do the first time round. Um, and I think working with the existing rides. I don't know. Some people think it's more challenging. Personally, I don't. Not on this map. On certain maps, yes, it would be. But on this map, no, it was it was quite easy because you've got you've got four decent rides um, that you can charge a decent amount of cash on. I did try charging ten pound a go um, initially, but they wouldn't pay that, so I just dropped it back down to five, which is still more than what they were paying when we took over. Um, so we made tons of cash off the existing rides. Yeah, I did have to borrow a little to complete that path around the park, but um, all in all, it was fine. So yeah, as I said, this was Whitewater Park. I've been Stu. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs>